Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Olympus is Chosen. So, let's start off this episode with City Encounter, and then we'll jump into the scenario. You're walking home late at night when you hear some suspicious sounds coming from a nearby garden. You move to investigate and a shadowy figure bolts in the opposite direction, carrying an armful of vegetables. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, we can either give chase, thieves must be brought to justice, or the thief had the right idea, grab some vegetables for yourself. Uh, really, these, these kinds of events would be nice to have a third option of, I don't want to take part in either, um, I know that would probably lead to more often, uh, nothing happens, but do we really want to go chase down some thieves that could just be children grabbing some food because they're, they're hungry? Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of information here. Or do we just grab vegetables for ourselves? I mean, okay, we, we have, uh, Electrona with us. I think she would um, she would act pretty quickly to bring justice. Well, all right. Figure overburdened with vegetables is no match for your speed. You quickly run him down and deliver him to the city guard. Thankfully, very little of the produce was damaged in the pursuit, and you are able to return it to the owner of the garden. We gained a reputation. Cool. All right. So that puts us at reputation minus one. So we're, we're kind of going to be breaking even, I think. I don't think we're really going to sway too far into the negative or the positive, honestly. Uh, depending on, I mean, if we have Ate and kind of a negative, a quote-unquote bad mercenary, I don't know what else to say, then I guess we'll start doing some nefarious dealings, but... Uh, in this case, Electrona, she's going to be bringing justice as often as possible, so. Okay. Well. Let's jump into the scenario, I guess. I figured since the last time in the last episode, what we did was jumped into the rift and took out the prime demon. Let's go to the forgotten crypt to seal off the plane of elemental power. Uh, this is in the Lingering Swamp, a core quest. Our objective is to protect Hale until she reaches the altar. We need to keep Hale alive. So Hale is going to be joining us in this uh, scenario. These can be kind of hectic uh, for trying to keep somebody alive that basically just bolts through the scenario as fast as possible. So we'll have to keep up with her and keep her alive. We're seeing a bunch of enemies we've already seen before, but I figured it'd be good to kind of take a step away from Elemental or a scenario or two. Cultist. And we are at level three. We just hit level three for our mercenary band. Living Bones. Living Corpse. And Living Spirit. Let's go. You want to do what now? Hale stares at you blankly. You've found a rift into the plane of elemental power, and you want to close it. She sighs. Well, I did agree to help you. Hale begins tossing the orb you retrieved up and down in thought. Okay, based on your description, it's going to take a little extra work to close a rift of that magnitude. I could do it myself, but it would take a while. And it may get troublesome if we were to be attacked by the other side in the middle of the incantation. It would be much easier to do if I had an elemental sensor, which really is entirely too convenient, because I've been wanting to get my hands on one for my studies anyway. I knew a powerful elementalist who owned one many years ago. He's dead now, but I'll take you to his crypt personally. I'd advise against handling the sensor on your own. All 
All right. Well, it seems that this isn't the scenario that we are going to um, close it, close the rift. I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get there. Uh, maybe we're just going to get this sensor and then we'll be using it in the future. Not sure. Uh, all right. Our road encounter traveling off the beaten path. You are surprised to see a large group of figures on the horizon. You take out your weapons and move cautiously forward. As you get closer, it becomes clear that the figures are not alive, but sculptures of some kind, made haphazardly out of branches, garbage, and scrap metal. There are 50 or so in the middle of a field, with no other signs of life as far as you can see. You see a necklace that may be val valuable on one of them, and go to grab it. Don't touch her. You wheel around to see an old man in rags emerge from a hole in the ground, and charge at you with a broken broom handle. These women are all mine. Okay. Um, so it's this hermit, apparently, who has made a bunch of women in a field. We can either defend yourself with uh, lethal force or attempt to calm down the hermit and resolve the situation peacefully. Okay, so... We have Scoundrel. I don't think she's going to be able to do something like this. Tinkerer. I don't think he's going to be able to do something like this. Do we think that Sunkeeper is able to resolve the situation peacefully? I want to say yes. We can attempt it. Nope. <laughs> you grab the broom handle and wrestle the old man to the ground, attempting to restrain his failing limbs. Try to explain that this is all a misunderstanding, but he keeps warning you not to defecate on his wives. I didn't think we were going to be doing that. The man is surprisingly agile, and the stench of his rags also makes keeping him pinned down difficult. He slips free and scrambles around for his broom handle, muttering about the star's gift. You run away with haste, but his odor is much harder to escape. Huh. So we've been cursed. Everybody is going to receive, I believe, just one curse card, but... Which reminds me, I did not go to the Temple of the Great Oak. Oh, that's unfortunate. After a day's journey, you find an ancient, overgrown mausoleum resting along the Serpent's Kiss River. Stonebreaker really was a nice fellow. Getting crushed by massive boulders is just one of the hazards of being an elementalist, though. After clearing away the overgrown vines, you head down into the crypt. Oh, great, Hale says. These blasted cultists are everywhere nowadays. Probably looking for the sensor, too. Or they simply don't want you to have it. You look at Hale with confusion, and she points to the shadows where dark figures in black robes emerge. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're just here for the sensor, and then we'll be using it in the uh, future episode or scenario. Uh, curse. A cursed character adds a curse card into their attack modifier deck. Is it going to show it here? It's not. Okay. So because this came from the the encounter, then everyone is cursed. This doesn't count as a negative scenario effect. Right. Okay. Battle goals. Masochist or straggler? Straggler sounds better. Dynamo. Or Fast Healer. I like Fast Healer. And Ate, Sadist. Kill five or more. I mean... I mean, both of them kind of feel appropriate for her, right? Let's go for Sadist. I think that's, that's just her job. Okay. Well, let's do this, I guess. 
Uh, we've seen everything. Do we want to change any cards? We have the cards from last time that we've brought in. I, I think I'm good to just go with what we've got. Yes, I think so. Okay. You shouldn't have come here, Ghostface, one of the cultists says. Oh, hey. Be nice to her. Ugh, Hale sighs. Dispatch these simpletons quickly. I'm already bored with them. <laughs> you got it. Oh, well, there she is. There she is. Well. Pretty nice. Look at that. I mean, come on. They, they just did such a great job. I'll say that all the time now. All right. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We have... Looks like those are going to be obstacles. Uh, there is a door behind them. Yeah, that's the only one. Okay. No traps or anything like that. Nope. And then we've got a room, a room, a room, and a room. Got it. Cool. All right. This one's interesting. So. All mercenaries start with three curses. That's not going to be the case for um, Electrona. Though that is the case for the scoundrel for Ate. Three plus one, four curses. Going to have to be able to get through those with her uh, advantage shots there. And he didn't get it either. So both of them are resilient, I think, is basically that perk. And she's not, but because she can attack with advantage pretty frequently, I'm I'm not too worried about this. And hey, if she pulls two of them, then great. That gets rid of two quickly. Uh, so I'm kind of okay with that. It says, keep Hale alive. Protect Hale until she reaches the altar. Uh, she has a very particular turn. It might just be she's going to run to the altar, which is very likely in this last room. And I want to say that she's going to be opening doors along the way. So what we need to do is kind of get in her way. She'll be able to move through us, of course. She's an ally. But um, we need to kind of stand in places that she wants to go and keep her from opening doors too quickly. She might make attacks, but I, I'm not holding my breath on that one. So We'll see. I guess we'll see on her first turn what she's going to be doing, and I assume that's just what she's going to repeat for the rest of the, uh, the time. So, round one. Okay, well, we're starting off with Smoke Bomb. With that curse, Visage of the Inevitable. Then mobilizing Axiom and Daybreak to get moving. I don't know. I guess she's going to have to walk this way, isn't she? I'll just move up a little bit. I'm trying to find... Maybe Daybreak isn't the right one to go with. Let's use Dazzling Charge instead for just the default movement. I'm not going to need to heal immediately. And then Tinker's Tools, Stun, and Hook Gun to attack and deal some damage. So two, one will be controlled, one will be dead, and the other one will just get in its way, and we need to figure out what to do with Hail. Uh, she is... Okay, she's not going to attack, and she has move two. There. There it is. So she's going to move two. She has ten health. We can continue to heal her, but I, I don't think she's going to attack. And she goes 99. Okay, there we go. She's going to be going last, so reducing her chances of being... Um, what's the word? Being targeted. And she's just going to move two. Yeah. 
Well, this is a real big bummer. And then that. So I, I think we'll just try to control you and kill you outright with her. Ah, oh, that's not gonna work. Okay. Oh man. Those cultists just ended. <laughs> ended it. Okay. Uh, well, we'll do this then. Jump over. And I'll just poison them. I can't believe that. Alright. Let's try finding some of those. Well, that's not one of them, but. Try finding some of those uh, curses with her. Can't believe they, they did that. Of course they did that. Um, and now they're, <laughs> they're in my way now. Okay, so let's use this to walk around. We'll, we'll do that. Huh, this would be a good idea. Let's do it. There's no way... Actually, there is a way, one way, for me to kill that. And then I pulled the, the time zero. Wonderful. It's still not bad. <laughs> okay. Of course. Of course. So, this didn't work out in my favor, but um, one thing to keep in mind here is... Well, okay, that died. Got it. But I wasn't able to kill either of them because of that move right there. If I killed them, then they would be attacking all of their surroundings for three. So, that would be unfortunate. Uh, this this time she can't move to here, so she'll move here, which still slows her down. That's a good thing. And I guess if she walks through that stun trap, that would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> huh. Well, we'll see what she does. That's awesome. That actually worked out perfectly. I uh, did not think that was going to be happening, so cool. I'm happy with that. So she's going to be skipping her turn. That means we have a, a turn to really go for them, uh, which we will do now for round two. All right, we'll do this. Ate going first with three. Flurry of Blades for that advantage and single out to attack this guy. Um, then Electrana, Empowering Command, and I realized an adjacent ally may perform attack four. She is a ha um, an ally, so we can have her attack through commanding, kind of, or having her attack. Like, she won't attack by herself, we can have her, though. Uh, then we'll move up with this. And defensive stance for that attack against this one or whichever one is alive. And potentially to finish them off at 34. And they're doing it again. How annoying. Well, at least we can do this. Whoops. I do want to move. How annoying is this? Please just die. Nope. Uh, okay. I mean, it's not going to be like death or anything, you know, but it does mean that she's going to be attacked too. Hmm. I could have her just do it. <laughs> Um, that means she's going to 
get attacked by both of them. I mean, she's going to be attacked by both of them regardless. So... I think what I'm going to do is just have her... I'm just going to do it this way. And get her three cards back. And then we'll just move over here. That was that was worth it. Okay, well I guess I'll confirm that action, whatever. So this one will be dying. But oh well. Unless I pull that. Hey, that's cool. Okay, that's fine. We got rid of the... Uh, we got rid of it, which is great. And we got rid of it on the one that was kind of going to do the most damage. I guess it was going to be doing damage to two anyway, so it didn't change much, but that's fine. Whatever. We got rid of it. I'm cool with that. Round three. Number first is Electrona. Righteous Strength for a move three shield and shield. So that's shield two plus, you know, the steel ring. And her chainmail still has one? One. So she'll be pretty much tanking everything that's going on in this room. Then 60 is Ate Venom Shiv and Flanking Strike for the movement. Man, I, I was just going back and forth here. There's way too many good cards for her and I'm using all of her movement. But honestly, a move five to get into this room I'm not going to need another move five in there, and I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I kind of like all the other options once we're in the room. So we'll go with this. Then the Tinker fights this Ink Bomb for the movement, Restorative Mist to heal you up. Or you if you've taken a major hit. Um, you do need to have full health at the end. You just need to kill monsters and... Oops. You can only take long rest. Got it. Okay. This would be a good opportunity to walk in the room because... The cultist is not going to be summoning. So just doing a teeny weeny attack... Not too scary. Uh, well, there's no cultists in here anyway, but we do have a big obstacle here. Uh, no traps. These are going to be attacking for two at range, and then they're just, they're not doing anything. Okay, well, regardless, let's just walk in. We can shield up against this, at least. And I'm thinking I want to get that out. Because we do have this if we want it. And we have no other way of making it. I think this is okay. We'll just we'll just end it. We've got enough damage incoming uh, with her anyway. So, and these are all normals, so she'll be able to kill one of them once she's in a good position. I think all the audio just got stuck <laughs> and it all piled up. Huh. 
Hmm. Well, okay. You showed them. Yeah, that's a good position for her now. And she doesn't need to use this minor stamina potion now uh, or before her rest because she got three an odd number of cards back. So this is going this gives her one, two more extra turns um, from the Sunkeeper's empowering command. So that's pretty powerful, right? We can skip this and do it in the next round. So that'll be cool. Let's actually let's use that. Did I? I think I bought this and I forgot to talk about it. Did I talk about this in the last episode? I don't remember. I don't remember seeing it. Um, I do have a way of healing. I'm going to skip it for now. Yeah, I'm going to skip it for now because he's going to move up and he can just heal her instead. And we'll wait until to make that kind of more uh, powerful. Um, we're leaving money behind. Yeah, because it, in this case, he would have healed her for two, basically. So we can wait until she takes another hit and then, uh, oh, okay, okay. I see what to do here. Uh, they're blocking the door, so she didn't move, which makes sense. Uh, this means if we can keep them there, then um, that would be that would be good. That would be very good. Let's try to kind of get into their face so that they continue to block that door, and then we can clear the way a little bit uh, more peacefully. That'll work out. All right, round four. Round eight. All right, first up is Electrona, Righteous Strength. Um, move three, shield, shield. We're doing it. We're gonna open the door and just get in it. You, Net Shooter, Hephaestus, immobilize and move away. And we're gonna use Disorienting Flash to just, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, um, but basically there was nothing else that I was really too interested in. Uh, maybe I could heal, but I'd, I'd rather take some more damage before I do something like that. Um, yeah, the, the problem here is what's coming up next is Visage of the Inevitable and Venom Shiv will one, two, three, four with our boots. And then Visage of the Inevitable to kill it. So I don't really care about what it's going to do. But maybe maybe I could do this instead of Net Shooter. I'll just use Disorienting Flash to, to do whatever. And we'll just use Stun Shot so that it doesn't attack. And if it goes up. Oh, I want it to go earlier. Oh well. So we're going to be getting hit. That's fine. There is no rest among these cursed undead. As you kick through the door into the next room, you hear more commotion from the entrance. There's Whoops. Ah. Oh, they showed up behind her. Huh. Okay. So they're going to start attacking her. Now we now we're in it. This is this is worse. So I think what are they going to do? A whole bunch and then you are going to okay yeah their innate ability is now cursing when they attack which is a whole lot of fun i guess i'll stand here so that she does start moving i don't want that space to be taken up so that way she can find a way through we'll do it that way
Yeah, that does get rid of that. That's unfortunate, but... You're kidding me. And of course, they're gonna block the... <sighs> Just, it's not working out for me. <laughs> and then, oh, okay. It is not working out for me. Um, undo. One, two, three, four. I can't stun that. Man. It won't matter now because she can't. It's standing next to an ally, so I can't kill it. Oh, cool. See? Hey, it worked. You see? So I pulled the target on the stun shot, which allowed me to attack two of them. That worked out. That's nice. And now I'm going to use my boots. I can't get in there, but at least I can do this. And I can't use this, so I'm just going to attack here, I guess. Yeah, we'll use that. I can use my um, skewer, maybe. And oh, okay, good. So because they came in in that round, they didn't. They weren't able to move an attack. That's cool. Okay. Let's uh, let's try to get let's try to get back here. All right. Round nine. I see where this is going. So, yeah. Let's restart it. Oops. Uh, what am I looking for? Bandit quest. went back to Gloomhaven and uh, we are on our way back to the scenario for try number two. Took a little breather and um, ready as I'll ever be, I guess, at this point. So, uh, Walking among the foothills, you see a steep bridge in front of you and on top of it, a very odd rock formation. Formation calls to you somehow, but the way up is not readily apparent. In fact, Climbing the ridge looks pretty dangerous, but you just feel like you need to get there and look at the rocks. Um, huh. The rock formation is calling out to us. Do you think that's Oxalis? Fearing the possibility of falling from a great height, you choose your steps carefully. Still, the climb to the top takes a long time and is exhausting. Reaching the top, you approach the unnatural rock formation. A giant mound of stones stacked on stacked one on top of the other. At the base of the bottom stone, you see some strange runes and a pile of gold. Ah. So, no, that wasn't the crack heart. All right. Uh, 
After a day's journey, you find an ancient, overgrown mausoleum. Rest. This again, huh? Okay. All right. Um. Pacifist? No. Masochist. I mean, we can try, I guess, but kill three or fewer monsters? I don't like the idea of that. Hunter, kill one or more elites. Um, the only elite I've seen so far is that cultist, so I don't think that's a good idea. Have five or more total cards in your hand. Oof. Let's, uh, let's go for Streamliner, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, though. But with him, maybe. Because a trap, we haven't seen any of those, unless he throws a trap down, but... Uh, use no items, I guess we're going to have to go for neutral... Man, this luck here. This luck is going to carry right into this next one, isn't it? I think I'll probably just be skipping. I'm not even going to think about those battle goals. And just uh, just focus on the task at hand. You shouldn't have come here. Ugh. So, round one... I'm going to try to open this one up a bit better than before, uh, than last time, but that's basically, I'm, I'm going to try to do the same exact thing that I did before and hope that it actually works out, I guess is what I'm trying to get at here. So we'll do our opening move. And what we can do is maybe Stun shot, I think, is what I was doing before, but actually, I think it was Tinker's Tools and Hook Gun. And then Sunkeeper. How did I do this before? I think I just ran up. Oh, that's right. Holy Strike. With Tactical Order, was it? I don't remember. Let's go unwavering mandate, I guess. Um, I really don't want them to be. Hmm. I'm hoping that I can stun both of them or kill them both. If they go before twelve again, then I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's see let's see if I can get round one to actually work in our favor. All right. That actually works really well. Um, we can have both of them one killed and the other one stunned. So uh, we'll just figure out what to do with you after. Alrighty. It was all fun and games until I realized that <laughs> there was just no hope for her back there, so. Alright. Stun trap here. And then we can stun the cultist. Oops. Drag you across our trap. That's better. Look at that. Alright, I'll allow that. And... In that case, then I will stun you. I could do the thing like I move over here and then just stun them both. But I don't want to use that so early and I'd like to use it for her major attacks we can just stand here and heal kind of a thing okay um, in this case we actually you don't have any uh, curses you pulled that first huh and then you I think you're the only one that is that the right Whoops, I guess I have to do this first. 
Yeah, that's better. Let her continue to move, so we need to kill them quickly. And allow her to move behind us. Um, what was the... Right. No, it is just Ate. So Ate is carrying three curses. Better than four. But uh, I will find a way to try to try to get them out of her, her deck really quickly. So anyway, round two. All right. Ate. Flurry of Blades at three for the move and advantage and single out. I think I'll use her axe on getting these out quickly. I think. Um, we'll see what they're doing, of course. Mobilizing Axiom to make an attack, tactical order to get moving. And reviving shock. I'm hoping that either they're both dead or I can make an attack that will kill one of them at least. And then four to continue moving. Uh, sorry, dangerous contraption for a move four to continue moving. And we'll see. Okay. So they're not a lot of incoming damage, and I we don't have to worry about that actually, so. I'm gonna hope that we can actually take them both out though. Uh, this one's going after all of us, so I think I'm going to skip out on using my axe and just use the um, single out on this because there, we have a lot more damage incoming. So let's let's maybe attack you, just you. Oh wow. We're going invisible. That's good. That actually worked out pretty well. Uh, because if it is alive, then it won't be attacking her, but... Um, if that's the case, we'll do this for this attack. Well, this is perfect. So he's going to be able to move and then make an attack of two against both of them and potentially kill them both. Uh, if that's the case, let's walk up to the door. Cool. We'll just back up to here. And I'm going to do... I'm going to use Eagle Eye Goggles just to make sure that they both die. Or increase the chances. That was close. That was also close. All right. Well, I'm glad I used the eagle eye goggles, I guess. Um, all right. A lot of loot. We can have her pick it up. Hill's turn. There you go. Move up slightly. So I didn't see at what turn that was going to be at, so it will still be kind of a surprise, but... I know we took a long rest and then um, and it happened even after that so it was it like around 10 or something like that I don't know let's open the door shield shield uh, we'll go really late with flintlock and then we can move in with venom shiv so we can pick up some some loot and then run in and as for you we can go in with like this and I'll walk in with ink. No, uh, yeah, no, flamethrower. I guess 47 is not too late. Does anybody really need healing though? No, not really. So we'll go in with this. Yeah, we can stun somebody, probably one of them. We want them to actually move away from the door, don't we? Oh, you know what it could have been when I opened this door? It might have been... I think that's when it happened, was when I opened that door, so... What are they doing? They are moving. Not a lot, but at least they're moving. Um, so this is still going to be an okay place to stand. What are they doing? Packing for three. Got it.
So if that's the case, we'll walk in and stun you. Yeah, so she won't be moving, but at least we know when it's going to happen. Perfect. So what we can what we can try to do, I guess, is have her or before we open this door, make sure that she's standing around here. Um or maybe just have her open the door. I don't I don't know. Get all the way up in there. Okay. Round four. And a pretty late turn, but um, good things come to those who wait, right? Dazzling charge for the heal and daybreak for the bless. Then uh, Hephaestus with Ink Bomb and Disorienting Flash. We'll see which one I burn, if I burn one at all. And then Hidden Daggers and Burning uh, Oil. We'll see what happens there. And I do need to remember, I, I probably should have done it in the last one because um, I didn't want to do this. But I had it in my hand, so I thought, okay, I can do it. I had a better idea, but because she only had three cards in her hand, I wasn't able to perform what I wanted to do. So um, I do need to remember to use her stamina potion. Okay, they want to stun, but they won't be able to. There's no frost and a lot of movement which I'm kind of okay with, actually. That's going to bring them around here. The un unfortunate part is that they're all blocking again. So I guess this one might be walking, or I don't know, flying backwards, but they're, they're going to be blocking us again. Continuing to block. Oh, I see. Okay. Well. We'll skip that. And we'll bless you. And I guess I'll just heal you after. That brings light in, which will be pretty nice. Yeah, that one's going to back up. Man. Oh, actually, that's the perfect place for it. And that's my curse. Good work. Good pull. Alright, I'll take the damage for now. I wanted... I was thinking... If there's going to be some bunching up, but there's two here and there's two here. Man, they, I mean, they really know how to, to mess with me. So I think what I want to do is move up and maybe stun, but I, I don't really want to stun at all. So instead, what I'm going to do is move into this space so that there's a clear path that she can take through this. Um, we'll skip that, and I'm just going to use this to, I don't know, we'll hit you. <laughs> sure. Okay. What? He's in a curious situation here, but I feel like I need to have the, uh, the space for them to get through, so. Alright, we'll still be able to do this. A wounding attack. Let's do it against you. We pulled it already. That's fine with me. And I need to use this. Oof, almost, almost did it. So I'm thinking... 
we might want to grab like flanking. Oh, we have flanking strike. Perfect. I can use that right here. And something to keep in mind that I, I made that mistake in the last uh, attempt. In the first attempt, you need to actually be able to pull. If you skip the pull, the curse is is also skipped. So you have to be able to pull. You can't uh, make an attempt to pull from here. This has nowhere to be pulled. So I made that mistake because um, I was a bit fluttered. But... Uh, yeah. Which card do we want to bring in this time? I'm I'm thinking single out so that I can either choose this or this and depend on like do I want the movement or because there's I don't think I'll be able to actually I'd be able to do this. Yeah, I'd be able to get around here. So let's grab visage of the inevitable, run around here to make the uh the kill there so that she can actually move up. Yep. Okay. Good. My bad. So we'll go early. I guess it doesn't matter. We can go late. No, let's go early. Because if I go late, then they'll find a way to screw it all up. Um, we can do something like this. Actually, let's do that. Net shooter to immobilize it and then walk away. And reinvigorating elixir to heal her. We can go with something like this and this. And we'll figure out if 32 isn't fast enough. Well, we can still make that attack. Um, and maybe walk away. Or maybe we do this. I don't know. There's a lot of good options here. So let's see what it is. Yeah, so we won't be able to walk away mobilize won't do much so I'll just leave it as is and then we've got an attack from you so I'll walk around here guess I could pick up some loot while we're on our way I'll leave it for somebody else now nah, we'll pick it up All right. Okay. Yeah, so if this is the case, we'll just kind of hang out here. Um, that way we can have some, some attacks from her. We can do top of hammer blow and bottom of empowering command. We'll do it that way instead. Uh, so we'll just take this and heal you. Yep. And we will skip and skip. We'll just hang out right there. Okay. I'll take it, I guess. I'll certainly take that. Okay. This here. Oh, wow. She is angry. <laughs> there you go. Here you go, buddy. So we'll make this attack. And I'm wondering if I should use that plus one. That would allow me to pull a zero. But I'd almost certainly be pulling the uh, minus two if I did something like that. So I, I'll just do this as is. And if I get a plus, that's great. If I don't, whatever. Okay. I'll take it. It seems that they, they're angry. They are angry. Round six. All right. We're going to take a long rest. She's going to walk up to here. We have one, two, three rounds, basically, until she's opening that door. And if that's the case, 
I mean, we're going to long rest. You're going to long rest. And we'll just use this to, to move and, and heal. Something like that. I don't think we need the healing, but we can do something. Do we need the healing? 16, 12... No, not really. So... Well, let's pick up some loot. This will actually put her here, uh, which doesn't slow it down all that much more, but it'll go here and then here and then stand on the door. Whoops. Okay. So I'm thinking we get rid of Visage of the Inevitable because it seems that we're not going to be able to use it anymore. Um, I mean, maybe we'd be able to, but we need to go quick. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of bunching in here that I won't be able to do it with. But man, that poison everybody thing. Maybe it's Flintlock. We'll go Flintlock again. Yeah. All right. And unwavering mandate. There. Round seven. So I don't, I don't think. I think you need you need a long rest. Yeah, we'll take it because of eagle eye goggles. And we don't want to open this door now. We want her to kind of be even closer to the door. So we we need to be moving with her instead of what I was doing before. Uh, that was a mistake. So. Okay. So I think I'm going to actually open the door now. And try and clear a path quickly. Um, Because I don't want to waste a round of two cards just to let her get a little bit closer to the door. So we're going to walk in with shield shield. Then um, Ate is going with Venom Shiv and single out. And I'm hoping that I can get into a position to use the battle axe to take, to take on two of them. The problem is, is uh, this. You know, so we'll be using the eagle eye goggles, of course. And then long rest. And move two. Okay. So we do need to use boots. Let's see what they're going to do. There is no rest among these cursed undead. As you kick through the door into the next room, you hear more commotion from the entrance. There's more of them behind us, Hale yells. Well, at least we got to see that again. Um, yeah, she said she was bored before. Not so bored anymore. I mean, you could probably help us, couldn't you? But anyway. What are they doing? Moving one. So if I stand here, that's actually good. None of them will be able to walk behind me. And then they are going to move too, but we already know they're not going to move. Okay. They are going to be moving here and here. That's fine though. Electrona has plenty of shield. Chainmail, and if it gets dicey, steel ring, but I think that'll be fine. Um, you... No, okay, you can't stand here. Got it. Uh, let's... I think we need to use this. I guess we don't need to, though, do we? I don't think so. 
because I can still use Axiom. I'll skip it. We'll we'll get it naturally. Perfect. Uh, sort of perfect. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so I can't get back. I, I can't get back here. Um, it would have been nice. I guess I can stand here, but I'll just stand here to um, to block the doorway too, so that we will have. She'll be able to move, but once she gets to about here, she won't be able to move through us because. It'd be one, two kind of a thing. So we'll get up to here. And I'll make this attack. I'm going to use the poison dagger. And the eagle. Nah, not the poison dagger. Let's use eagle eye goggles. Oh. Well, I got poison anyway, but... Alright. We killed it. Uh, that's great. I I want to be pulling this. <laughs> Not two of them. I want to pull one of them and then something else. But hey, we killed one. That's great. I will certainly take that. Uh, Tinker's Tools. Yep. Although, you know... Oh, that would have been actually really good to put a trap right here. And then the first one that tries to get through, they have to walk through the trap. That would have been good, but... Eh, it's too late. Okay. Round eight. So I've kind of figured out, I think, what I'm going to be doing. I, I have a bunch of ways to control with Tinkerer. Now, this move isn't really going to show what my plan is, but... Um, let me go through it real quick. Ate's going first Flurry of Blades and Hidden Daggers. That's going to pull six cards. Six modifiers. We'll see what we can get out of that. Then Hephaestus, Toxic Bolt, and Ink Bomb. Ink Bomb, I'm going to walk right up into here and then Toxic Bolt onto you. Uh, but my idea is with Disorienting Flash... Stun shot. Um, I'm going to have ways of controlling whatever comes from behind us. And so I'm going to kind of use that net shooter as well. So whatever comes from this room here, um, we will have to control it rather than try to kill it. So hoping that they don't do a lot of summoning back there but uh, that is why they're there and then mobiling, mobilizing axiom and empowering command because the tinker or vices will be standing here so okay they're just healing which is perfectly fine with me uh, they're actually going to heal themselves so whatever we do any damage we do they're going to get a chance to remove it okay well, let's try and do as much damage as possible then, I guess, right? I'm not going to use this. I'm hoping to just pull all three of them. I don't even care what damage we get out of it. Just get them. Nope. Come on. Good. Perfect. Hey, and it's a poison. That's awesome. Okay, we got one. <laughs> I didn't really even want her to deal any damage, uh, but the poison is cool. I'm I'm all right with that. All right, make an attack against you. So at least this heal isn't going to do. It's just going to pull the poison off, but. Is uh, 
<laughs> okay. Maybe... No, let's make this attack. Yeah. Nah. See, that's the problem with that, is it does... If you don't go early enough, and 23 is kind of early for her, then the shield is useless. So, anyway. Yeah, I think we should have actually gone for him, but... Like, both make this attack. I'll make this attack. Okay. I'm cool with that. Round nine. So I, I felt the need to bring Hephaestus up into this spot because if I didn't do that, she'd want to stand there. Now she's stuck here. Um, I don't want her to be there for long, so we need to take these out <laughs> right now. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious, though. So first up is Hephaestus with Net Shooter for the initiative and movement and hook gun for an attack though i don't know i mean i'm i'm pretty much just kind of staring at this thinking of doing some damage but i don't i don't think you're going to be the one doing it so in this case i don't have many other options without burning cards or healing or something like that um i guess i'll do this instead and maybe I'll just heal and not uh, not worry about doing anything else because you do need some some healing. So then 57 for Electrana. We're going to go for that defensive stance attack and then dazzling charge. I don't want to use the movement yet uh, as like a burn car or not burn, but I'm not going to move. So I guess what I could do instead, I'll go for day daybreak for the bless. Yeah, I'll go 65 instead. And then smoke bomb and visage of inevitable. I'm hoping what I can do actually is I think that's why I wanted to do this instead. It is. So I'm hoping okay, I kill you and then I just walk away a little bit. And then you should be able to pull to here if you're dead then there's nobody else going to be in the way or adjacent or anything like that yeah it's kind of uh it's kind of a long a long shot but if it works it's going to be good so Summoning and going very late, that means I'll be able to do what I want to do unless something goes wrong with her attack. Um, and I can make, maybe make an attack with you instead, I don't know, but this is going to be a problem, of course, as you can see. <laughs> so maybe what I'll do is, no, you know what, let's still just do what my plan is here. And we're going to skip the movement because I want to go that way. Do I want to use this yet? Two, four, six, seven. I don't think so. Let's wait. Oof. We got it. That's good. Let's just pick this up. Let me make sure that that's going to be good. Yeah, so this is going to be pulled here and then killed. You are going to... Maybe I should have tried to stun you. I, I should have tried to stun you. Um, it's going to summon, and it's going to summon right here. So that means I can still pull it there. Okay. Okay.
good start. Oh. All right. Okay. This still worked. I guess I shouldn't be doing this when I'm strengthened, but whatever. It, it still killed it. What's really the difference? <laughs> now she's going to move there, which is a little dangerous because now she can open up that door next round. So we're that means we want to be opening that door this round. What's going on with her cape? It's like in her face. Now it's under her arm. I don't know. Uh, this means we need to open the door. We need to be going in now. So, uh, tactical order hammer blow so that we can hit something hard. Uh, if we can get in the right position, then we can use that. Then we'll use this later. Um, even if they have a move four, one, two, three, four, it's not going to be enough. And then you, I think it's time to use this against these two. And I'm going to use this to immobilize after to see, like, maybe I don't kill one of them or I do kill, I kill one and not the other kind of a thing with the attack. Then I can immobilize the other one. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Uh, okay. So, yeah, they're moving two. And then they're just going to move one later, which means they're going to block the door, which is good. Ow. Okay, well, I guess I can do that thing, because if I, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, is I can move away, make sure you're stuck there, because you're going to be able to move up and then make an attack against all three of us. So, let's do this first. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter which way I do it. Let's do this one first. We'll just back up to here. That way we don't get any attacks from you. And I'm going to use everything I got because I really want this to just... to die. <laughs> um, actually, you're going to be wounded too. Now let's go for it. Yeah. Forgot this part. I always forget this part. Jeez. Huh. Okay. Um, we only have one heal left, so I'm going to use this to bring... I sort of missed. Yeah, they're stuck back there now, so that's good. Won't be for long. They do have a lot of movement. And then he healed, of course. He healed that wound off. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, what are they going to do? Attack, or move one, attack four. Att <sighs> what are these? These are some pretty nasty traps that I think I'm just going to have her walk into them. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do. I can't push. And from here, I won't be able to pull them into it either. So I think... And I can't use my boots. I was thinking of standing here to make that attack, but okay. I mean, I've got the steel ring from one of those attacks. It's going to be hard. Let's go here for, for that attack, though. Hmm. 
Yep. Come on, pull something good. Well, it was a good a good amount of damage and we got light right back again, so we can well, we can't do anything with that, but that's all right. Okay. I'll take that because uh, this one's going to be another attack four. Yeah. Perfect. Not really, but... Um, okay. Actually, I can move up to here. Or do I want to move like this? This might actually be better, and then I can use burning oil to make that attack. There. Burning oil out of her gun. Here she comes. So, we're, I mean, <laughs> where did these come from? <laughs> these must have, these showed up, didn't they? Like, when I opened this door. Man, okay, Tinker, Hephaestus, you are, like, on your own, I guess. Uh, let's go early, and I think what I'm going to have to do is, like, stun shot. I could use this, actually. So stun and stun, and then walk up with Restorative Mist. That's not really what I want to be using it for, but... Yeah, you can see. But that's probably a good idea for it. She's going to be walking up to here. And you need... Do you need a long rest? Or do you just want a long rest? Cause a, tra cause a trap to be sprung. So we could just walk on the trap and take one for the team kind of a thing. And it will also give her a point toward a perk. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just long rest. Yeah, long rest. Because you're you're out of the way. All of this is going to be stunned, potentially. So, And then we can even stun you if you end up going before 85, but after 17. Which is the case, and they're not moving, which is good. And whew, we really got away with that. Um, yeah, you're gonna be, you're definitely gonna be stunned. I will happily burn a card for that. Living spirits are gonna move two, and then range attack at two. Cultists are moving pretty far though, so okay. I don't need to stun you though, is the thing. But stunning you is definitely a priority for me at the moment. Because I, if I move to here, you're going to be attacking him, so. Yep. Oh boy. This move three is dangerous because they, the closer they get to us, and they start bringing in some more living bones, that's going to be pretty bad. But it's great that they're not moving at all. That's really good. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to stun you again. <laughs> Definitely stunning you again. Yeah. 
And then I guess I could do something like this to bless you. What's your movement going to be like? I think we're going to have to take a long rest with you. So let's go over here. Yeah, we're going to be taking a long rest with you. In this way, so she's going to stand here. We'll still be able to run up and do like a major attack. Uh, you are an elite. So, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. We're like, we can't go up and kill you. So I think then Visage of the Inevitable is probably the one we need to get rid of now. Um... Yeah, because I have no clue what's in here, and if it's if it's more than two enemies, they could clump up very quickly, and we just this will be useless. Uh, that top one, we won't be able to use it. But we could still continue to use this. I'm just not thinking that a move two with poison is going to be as helpful as I'd like it to be. So. So we can either. Have her open the door and take some, take half of her life and damage, or have you open the door You know what I could do? I could do something like smoke bomb and go invisible right here My, my fear is of course I have no idea what's in there uh, and it does not matter what we do because you're stunned anyway. So we can have you kind of stun shot again. What I can do is something like this. And what I also could do is just drop the battle bot back here and they will all have something to fight. I could definitely do that too. Uh, but let's do actually... Reviving Shock. No. Reinvigorating Elixir and the movement. And I'm hoping 37 is fast enough. And I, I don't like the idea of that. So we're going to go even faster with Stun Shot. That way I can stun you and then still move all the way back into here. Um, and maybe you are the one that opens... It takes the damage for the trap and just just die. I don't like that idea, but it is certainly an idea. But I think I like I do like the idea of you jumping over here. Um or maybe just taking the damage like I'm saying. Walk up, open the door, go invisible. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay. Okay, they're summoning, which is, as I said, that's a problem. They they walk far and then they summon. Uh, and the living spirits are going to move out of the way, so you're going to be summoning right to there. Not going. And only going to move two. Okay. So, yeah, let's... Actually... Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But I think I'm going to go this way. I'm going to just walk over it, take the damage. Uh, that's going to do Neutralizer, and then go Invisible. And that way she's going to move over to here instead of right there. Yeah, I guess that's what she's going to do. Yep. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's behind the door. You're kidding. That's the... No, that's not it. Is that the... It says obstacle. This obstacle cannot be destroyed or moved by abilities. So I guess that is the... 
the altar. I mean, there's nothing else in here, so that's the altar. What are they doing? Some summoning. Um, they're going to be taking damage. So we need to we need to like pull them out of the way so that she can walk up safely. And and uh, one, two, three, and then she would walk through the trap. If I walk out here. Yeah, so I have to stay right where I am. Or I could back up. If I don't go invisible, they are going to block these, block that, and then you're stuck there. If I do go invisible, they will not move, which will give us an opportunity to, to get into the door. So I have to go invisible here. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> that was only uh the first the first person. Okay. I could actually I mean they these two would walk up to here, so yeah. Um I think what I'm gonna do before I walk away. Oh my god, there's more right there. I just I'm not even seeing them pop onto the map. But, okay, so, yeah, I guess it does not matter who I'm attacking or doing anything with, um, you. <laughs> it did it again! That is perfect! So both of them are stunned. Kind of, I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it would change much. Wow, I pulled Muddle on both of them, but it doesn't seem like it would change much. But I wish it would do this turn first. Like, it should have been Muddle and then the extra target. So pull all of those cards until that target and then allow me to do it again. I. I don't know if it would change much, but that's like that's how it works. So I, I feel like that's the way it should just continue to work. Um, pull all of those cards, and then I don't I don't know if it's like uh, I don't know how it works in the coding, but um, I wonder if if I stand here, maybe she's gonna walk over here. I don't want her to stand right there. And I guess she probably won't move at all. If I end up moving back that far. So let's let's just stand right to here. Yeah. That way it does move away at least. No. Come on. <laughs> one damage that kills me. What are you going to do? One, two, and then that's it. You're not actually going to be able to attack anybody. I have to burn a card for this? Yeah. Okay. Well, she didn't take any damage. That's nice. I don't, I don't see this. I just don't see it happening. We have no ways of like pushing or doing anything. The, this is way too much damage to for us to get through quickly. I guess going invisible, we can get. If we can get. 
the uh, the double attack to do something pretty bad, then then that will be helpful, or pretty good, I guess I should say. I just saw this in the back. Look at that. We did bring in dark, so that means we should be able to use this. I just don't know if it's really that helpful. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that. Whoops, I guess I probably should do this. Um, empowering command, I think. And it's interesting. It would be. It'd be nice if we could actually do the uh, potions at the end of that. I don't know. I just... I can only do it at the very beginning. There she goes. Okay. Well. <laughs> round 13. Electrona going first. Righteous Strength and Mobilizing Axiom. I think I'm going to be using the Boots and the Long Spear to just get right up in here. We need to kill this now. That's that's our goal. Take this out quick. Um, it's also our goal to keep the Tinkerer alive a little bit longer and Hail, of course. So, uh, but the faster we get in their face and start dealing heavy damage, the, the better it's going to be. So, then Tinker is using Net Shooter to make this attack so that none of them can move. And Dangerous Contraption for the movement. I have to actually move to get in here. So, um, it's a little dangerous. So, maybe what I'm going to do is this. So that he can stand here instead. Uh, we'll go early. We'll use the movement and then burning oil. Which is going to be an attack of 8. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be better. The wound as well. I'm trying to keep myself from not using like hidden daggers. Or flurry of blades. Because I feel like it's an exploit. To, to use Smoke Bomb with multiple attacks because it's not the way it's supposed to be working. Um, otherwise, I probably would use something like Hidden Daggers. But anyway, I'll do this. And that for the movement to get out of the way. And we'll figure out where we want to be standing once they, once we know what they're doing. Okay. Very, very bad. So let's make sure that that doesn't really happen. Um, they're going to be moving three, attacking three at range three. So that's probably all going to be attacking her. Man. There's nothing, there's nothing I can do about that either. Um, like I can't burn a card to save her. Uh, okay. Well, I guess before I move, what I could do is move after. So let's undo. Burning oil. I want to make the attack against you so that I could potentially kill. There's like good chances of, of dealing some good damage. I'm going to do everything that I've got here. If, it, if I pull those two things... Wow, and I even... <laughs> okay, so you're dead. Okay, there's tiny, tiny bits of hope here. Um, I'm gonna have to, like... I, I didn't want to go invisible, because I was thinking of going back here, so that they would be shooting at her instead. So, I mean, if that's the case, I'm going to do something like this. 
<laughs> to pick this up, the treasure chest. Uh, she's going to be invisible, so I might as well run in and grab the treasure chest while I'm over here. Didn't really think about the treasure chest. 20 gold? I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Okay, Sun Keeper's turn. Um, let's see here. They're going to be making some attacks. So if I can move over here, these things are going to want to move around. Yeah. Let's grab my boots. Strap on the boots. Get right into this space. And... I mean, I'm just kind of picking a side. Which side do I go on to? I'm not, I'm not sure which is necessarily the best side, but um, at the moment it's kind of, I think it's better to be on this side as far in as possible. I won't be dealing, I won't be getting anything from them, so that's good. Okay, another shield. That's cool. Um, and light is infused. Please, just don't. Don't die. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking my better option now, because I have two shields, my better option might be to just drop this battle bot here. Um... But it's probably going to die. I mean, you're going to move two as well. Huh. I think you need to... You just need to sacrifice yourself. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Um, I'm thinking, like... I could, I could immobilize you. Move away. Then I don't have to deal with it. And then throw down the dangerous contraption right here. So that you're going to be attacked by them. I really wanted to come in here and make this attack. And I had actually some decent chances of, of killing him all. You're dead though. You I won't be I won't be taking an attack from you. I will be taking an attack from you though. I think this is what I have to do, though. Sacrifice. Sacrifice the Tinkerer. I guess I can move all the way. I, I, will it matter? I don't think so. But let's do it this way. There he is. So. And at least I, I will be able to burn cards if I need to, to, to save myself. So I have very little hope for, for you making it through this.
Oh, there's only two of them. Oh! You actually made it! So she actually, she would have been fine. Uh, but I'd, I'd rather, I think it's better to do it this way. Yeah. There's no... Ugh. Gross. Uh, now she's in it. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Round 14. I guess from here on in, it's just long shot after long shot until she reaches this. Um... Until she reaches the altar. So I don't think she needs to necessarily... Like, I, she doesn't need to take a whole turn next to the altar. I think she just, like... Like, one, two. Unless I can destroy any of this in the middle. Uh, destroy, kill any of this in the middle. Then all she has to do is just walk up to it. And that might just be it. Um, yeah. Okay. So, Scoundrel. Flurry of Blades and Hidden Daggers. To make the attack right there. And I'm hoping that I can, with with that, make an attack of four on both of them. I'm hoping I can take uh, both of them out would be fantastic. Um, uh, but I don't want to be invisible, that's for sure. I want to be a target at this point. Good luck back here, man. So, Toxic Bolt and Stun Shot, and then we'll be seeing a move 2, attack 2 from this. You only have 2 health left, so I'm hoping you actually get a chance to, to do something. And then, Electrona, move 5, Stun, and Holy Strike, Stun. So, again, if I can't kill them, at least I'll be stunning some things. Less damage on you, as much damage on you too as I can, while the Tinkerer with one health holds back this. <laughs> the, the red wave, look at that. Okay, well, they're summoning. I'd rather not, because that means they could summon right here. Uh, but because she's back here, maybe that means, maybe that means no. So maybe what I can do is like go over here. I'll, I'll think about how I can move to make sure that this space is empty. Uh, they're going late. And the living spirits. Okay. So we are actually going early, which is um, okay. Means we'll get a chance to go. <laughs> To do something. Oof. I mean, that's that's too much to remember. Let's just try and figure out what, how we can do this. I think by going here or here is our best shot. Um, one, two, three, and I can hit both of them. Yep. So going here means that this will summon here or here and leaving that spot open. So let's do it that way. We'll stay right there. Confirm. Hidden daggers. Ooh. Wow. I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, because this space is going to stay open now. So I think we made it. Let's not get too excited yet, of course. And you want to attack that? That's not what I wanted you to do. Definitely not. All right. Well, anyway, let's make this attack. And I'll stun you too. That's good. Ah! I don't care anymore. <laughs> At least you're stunned. And you're stunned, too. So, a lot of incoming damage mitigated right there. And of course, they'll be attacking this first. Wow. Wow. 
And funny enough, I'm realizing now, because this is stunned and that's stunned, or was stunned, all of this it can't move. I mean, it, it can move, but it would have to go over here first. Uh, I guess, okay, never mind. Let me rephrase this. You're going to move two, so you can't go in. That means you can't go in. Um, you're not going to be coming in here. So you've actually held everything back by stunning all that. That's great. Um, all right. I will then stun you. Or actually... Okay. Um, yeah, I'll stun you. Oops. Yeah, whatever. And I'm gonna stun this guy. There's so much gold, but I can't I can't do anything about it. Alright, we're picking this up at least. So I've stunned the two that are going to move. Which means these two spaces will be staying open. Yeah. So she'll be able to move in now. Oh yeah, all these things too, huh? So we actually hit a max. Um, victory. Hale moves forward and grabs the sensor. She holds it aloft and speaks a few words in an unknown language. Fire bursts forth and immolates the remaining undead, reducing them to ash. Hale breaks the smallest of smiles. Well, now that that annoyance has been dealt with, let's get on with the real fun. Show me to this rift of yours. I wish she could have done that a long time ago. Um, okay. There it is. Victory. Oh, that is quite the puzzle. And I'm, I'm just always so disappointed seeing that much gold on the ground. But I don't think I was able to do it, so... We did pick up two. This is good. Um, Streamliner and Neutralizer. I wasn't even going for this anymore, and Masochist was just... I guess I could have tried to stand on some traps, but whatever. It's over. We got Hail in. That's fantastic. One Prosperity. Perfect. That's awesome. That 10 XP. Now that we're doing... Level 3 scenarios, 10 XP. That is huge. Ruinous Rift. That's opened up for us, which is where we get to go and, and uh, take on the Rift. So, close the Rift. There it is. Wow. Um, that was a, a good puzzle. <laughs> uh, there's only... Some of these scenarios, I feel like it's better to go in, try them out, lose, learn from your mistakes, and then um, and then continue. Of course, it's nice to win on your first try. Don't get me wrong; it's really nice because you get to just move on and make some some uh, progress. But um, this one, this one is one of those scenarios where. Uh, it's really nice to see 
how things are working because I, I did not know going into it. I totally forgot about this one. I was actually thinking about another one and um, that one is more funny, I think, than this one. This one is so painful. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I forgot that they started um, spawning behind us and I think at the end, one of the cultists in the that last room couldn't bring in another skeleton, uh, living bones, because we finally hit a max. I think the max is 12 living bones. I think it's 12. It's either 10 or 12, but that uh, that's bad. Is it 12 living bones? So as you can tell, or as you can see there, all you have to do is just get her to stand next to it and then it's over. So it's, it's about mitigating damage on her and allowing a path to open up for her to get up there. That's, that's the name of the game. So that'll do for the scenario. I don't, there's nothing really to go for. Ate actually picked up a whole t bunch of gold. So what I'll probably do is hang out at the Enchantress and maybe find a place. And it's not looking good. What we can do is, because this is on the same card, we can actually put one, like another enhancement on the same card. The enhancement points are per card. So we could put one here, but we can't put one there because we need an enhancement point. So I guess she'll just be waiting. We need to get Gloomha Gloomhaven Wealth to four before we can have a fourth card with an enhancement. So I guess here could be cool too. We could like bless ourselves or strengthen ourselves there. Um, Bless actually sounds pretty cool too, but yeah. Anyway, it's not looking like we'll be doing that. Maybe I'll look at some of the uh, the gear. Maybe we can upgrade, or maybe we'll just hold on to it. Um, or, actually, before I forget, let's do this for the next time. Because this will also increase the prosperity. Electrona. Yeah. Your continued donations have been a true boon to the sanctuary and to the city as a whole. This will surely have a noticeable impact on the city, but rest assured, we could always use it additionally. Yeah, of course you would. <laughs> and of course you would. So, all right. Devotion 3, we gain Prosperity again. Um, so another 50 gold, or 5 more times, and we can increase the Prosperity again. So we're just one more away, not too bad. And then uh, Ate can get ready for the next, uh, potentially I guess, the next um, enhancement. But anyway... That'll do it for this episode now. We'll start next episode again with another city encounter and then be on our way to the next scenario. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you next time.